I'm Cassandra and welcome to Bookworm Delectables. And in this section we'll be doing the Scruples 2 Trends Book Report. Scruples is a retail empire that Billy Eichhorn built with encouragement from her deceased husband, Ellis. Her husband had often teased her with using the word scruple. But after some major blows concerning both personal and business decisions, Billy wanted to escape her life and almost wish she could be the poor and middle class. Wilhelmina Hanuel Winthrop, who she began as in Scruples, the original book. Susan Arvey is the wife of a major studio head and is most reminiscent, to me anyway, of people like Ann Warner or Perhaps even Cassandra Gray, who actually is a designer herself. When Cassandra married her husband Brad, Tom Cruise and Brad Pitt attended her wedding. Susan is the type of person who has to have everything. She wants to keep all her money. And if someone, perhaps, rubs her the wrong way, mm, well, she can't really take it. So she has to, well, be vindictive and give it back so you can't cross her or she'll seek revenge on you. Billy dealt a lot with women like these, but these women were her shoppers. She came to her to spend money at her shop, Scruples. They wanted to dress like her because she was the face of Scruples. So they invited her. She attended all their parties. Of course, because she was expected to go to them. But after the loss of her beloved empire scruples, the fire of her main building, she found she wasn't really excited about going to them. She dressed for success for her business, you know. She was the face of scruples, but she wasn't really one of them. A woman like Susan Arvey, she wasn't one of her customers. Really, she didn't really care about being around these women or her customers. Her employees and her family were the people who she enjoyed being around. The unique thing about when she created Scruples 2 was she created it really with her friends and family. The original Scruples 2 though was just, I mean the original Scruples was just a retail store. The origin, the great thing about when the idea came to create Scruples 2 was Scruples had a gross spurt, even though it was just to a catalog. I mean, Scruples sold to the rich and famous, but Scruples too sold to everyone. It was priced for the middle class. And it was going to have its own unique product line. That's what was so special about the new Scruples 2. That was the most unique thing. 
that Scruples was going to become its own manufacturer of Gigi's design because Gigi, the girl who Billy adopted without giving away any important things, well, who was really an artist of many different things besides cooking, was going to design some outfits of her own. Of course, then I cringe next because where were they going to manufacture? Ding, ding, ding. Then those words fell out of their mouths. China, because you can't have bargain prices without manufacturing in some place that's a bargain. But then this is the world of the 1980s and the 1990s where everyone was making money. And so everyone had money to spend. Billy was going, Billy and the gang were at their best when they were working though with family. And Billy was the best when she was working on projects. And everyone was going after the American dream. So for them, it was being creative together, working on scruples too. If you have anything to add, I'd love to hear it. Please subscribe. Please tell me if you think there's definitely more to add because, well, this is the 80s. And in the 80s and the 90s, everything was hot, especially when it had to do with people who were as vindictive as this. And with the things that Billy got into in Scruples 2 that I left out, and she got into a lot in Paris, she got into a lot that I left out. Tell me what you're thinking of. And tell me if you have any ideas. And please subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. I'm sure you have your own stuff you'd like to add. Please add any comments below and tell me what you'd like to hear from me to read or recipes you'd like me to make or many, maybe any trendy reports you'd like me to give. I'd love to hear from my listeners. Thanks for watching.